is the tiebreaker, King Cobra. It's game night for the Minnesota Wild, and one of the participants is honing his craft. So you'll look at three pucks up there on the board and just follow the one with the Enterprise logo as best you can. Jim Cunningham loves this time, the calm before the crescendo. It's his element, performing. Has been since before he even knew it. Let's play the Enterprise Hat Trick Challenge. There it is, keep your eye on it. Watch the board, hear the pucks, follow the one with the Enterprise logo. Ooh. One, two, three. Where is it, everybody? Yow, I had it till the last second. Chris, you got it? Yep. If you get it, I got this hockey stick for you. If you don't, I have absolutely nothing. Where is it? It's in uh, number one. That's what I thought, too. Let's find out. Is it behind number one? It is. There you go. Brand new hockey stick coming in. How about a big hand for Chris from Shock Rapids? He beat the hat trick challenge tonight. My mother, who's 91, will tell you it was always there, that even as a little, Before little you kid, it, huh? three, four years old, I was organizing the neighborhood kids and saying, you stand there, now you're gonna say this. What unveiled was a career on stage, or more appropriately, stages. What is that coming down the river? <sighs> is that Jim? It's Jim, it's Cunning Jim Cunningham. No, not Cunningham. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Hey, guys. You got the memo. I did too. It all stems from an almost innate love to entertain, to see an audience, to work with an audience, to connect with an audience. Yeah, I'm fine. Wow, what are, it was just, we better get to the yeah. meeting, huh? Yeah. Hey, what about the kayak? Oh, I'll just leave that there. Nobody's gonna take it. It's St. Paul. Accepting the nature of an unsteady industry and trying to maintain a steady work within it. This is a weird life. I do yeah. all kinds of crazy things, sports and uh, things that I never set out to do in order to make sure that my three kids eat three times a day and can go to Creighton and can go to college. And you know, I mean, all it just, stuff. yeah, it requires a certain amount of broadening of what I consider my field. He's hit on some long runs maybe none bigger or better than when he was cast in Tony and Tina, the play about a wedding and all that goes with it. And as he looks back, he understands how special a run like that is in an actor's career. That was just so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Even when we were doing, in the, when we first opened, we were doing nine shows a week. His love for laughter comes from his childhood as well. Starting with a well-known duo and moving into the more contemporary. I, I was a huge Laurel and Hardy fan as a kid. Huge Laurel and Hardy fan. And then sort of uh, found the Marx Brothers and that helped quite a bit in terms of uh, comedy. Uh, but I would say if I had to pick one person that I thought in watching, huh, that's really good. It, it would be Michael J. Fox. His, his style and his ability to uh, to make something funny and yet have it hit you right in the heart, uh, it, it, it's rare. Some of that comes through at his annual pilgrimage performances at the Renaissance Festival, where he has become a staple. How's everybody doing? <laughs> the 30th anniversary, if we've done the math correctly, of the Feast of Fantasy. Things often happen in the Feast of Fantasy once and never again. It's just, you know, we roll with the punches there. And I had two great partners over the years, Mike Borka, who was uh, my first uh, Feast of Fantasy partner. He and I did about 10 years together. And now Laszlo Nemeshi, who's my partner now. Welcome to Occupy Bad Manor. <laughs> He and I have done 13 years together, so I've done 23 years uh, at the Feast of Fantasy. Miracle! Back to water again! <laughs> he has been hosting Twins games and Minnesota Wild games. Proud sponsor of the Minnesota Wild. It is where he is at home, with a microphone and an audience. There's absolutely nothing that isn't fun yeah. about doing a game here at the XL Energy Center. I, it is, I've been here since it started and uh, I don't ever want to leave. It is just so exciting and electric here when the crowd gets into a game and it's just, it's the greatest. Wish me luck. He uses energy, but in these environments, he draws energy. The goal to entertain, 
to make someone smile, to find a way that he is a positive part of a person's night that makes it special every night. He's our player of the game tonight. No score in this game. How long you've been playing? You know, you're playing against perfection, kind of. I mean, whatever your standard is, right? Yeah. And so you set that standard for yourself. And really, for me, there's I, t I get, a, strangely, a lot of joy out of it. It's uh, the connection with the people that I'm working with, so the people I'm Can't on stage, yeah. The fun that I have with them. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you guest on. Now it's coming full circle. He and his wife have three children, all with a bit of the acting bug. Last year, he got to watch his son perform at Creighton Durham Hall High School. He's got his own thing going on. I don't think he's uh, following in my footsteps or copying anything. I, he's got his own thing. Very nervous, but also excited, but mainly nervous. But as Mrs. Kreitzer, the director, says, nerves mean you care about it. All three of the kids, all three of my, my two daughters and my son, all of them uh, have an interest in theater. Yes, the same high school Jim attended. But what he offers to those that aspire to be like him might surprise you. What advice do you give like your son when he's in the music? Yeah, get out. Get yeah, out. It's uh, when asked by kids, mine or any others, it, it, the only way that I can say you should do this is if it's the way it happened for me, which is I couldn't not do it. I, I just couldn't imagine my life. And you know that. You know it. I knew it from when I was three to five years yeah. old. In fact, his latest venture has nothing to do with acting but a lot to do with being a pitch man. Cunningham and boyhood friend Tim O'Fallon bought three acres of the Metrodome roof, then partnered with a company in Duluth to make bags and other stocking stuffers. They made these Domer special bags. There's a duffel and a shell bag and a portfolio like a briefcase and a shaving kit uh, for men and then a big what they call their Scoutmaster backpack. And they're all trimmed in premium leather. And to me, what a terrific Christmas gift for the sports fan on your list. See, even if the dome roof venture works, you sense he will keep doing this. Do you have any advice for any of the kids who are in the stands tonight watching you play on the ice tonight? How about a big hand for him? He's seven years old. He's our star of the game tonight. Because it's inside him. The business has chosen him. He will keep finding gigs to keep making people feel good. To the feast of fantasy! And to know his only obligation is to keep giving it his best shot. I'll give you everything I've got and then some. And after that, uh, you know, my jurisdiction will end there. I'll give you everything I got and then some. And then, then the, the fate has to take over and make it into something. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.